the Battle Pass Season 1 has finally arrived. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tigris Gaming and welcome back to some more Modern Warfare. If you guys want more Modern Warfare videos then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe if you're new and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. And with that being said, let's get into the Battle Pass and we'll also try out the new map Crash. First of all, as you guys can see I am no longer rank 146, I am rank 55 because we've been reset. And that is the case after each new season that comes out. No matter what rank you are, even if you are 145 and you need 1 XP point to go to 150, you will get reset to 55. And with that being said, here is the new battle pass. Now you can buy the battle pass straight away with code points. Or you can work your way towards the whole battle pass by grinding the game and unlocking every single one of these things without actually having to spend Cut points. I like that. I like the fact that you don't have to spend anything. You can grind the game and unlock them because that's awesome. And I, as I am going through them, I do see some very nice things. There was a double XP. There is cut points. There is um, calling cards. There is the new weapons, operator skins. Here is one of the new weapon, the Ram Seven. There is watches. There is calling cards. There is blueprints of other weapons, there is a skin armored up, there is all these nice, nice stuff. Is it worth buying the whole season pass? I would say no, because if you can grind your way through all of them and unlock them like that, why spend and buy them straight away? Just unlock them, you have something to work towards too. If you buy them straight away, you won't have anything to work, to work towards too. That's a tongue twister right there. And the game will kind of get boring, so in my opinion, don't buy that, just grind your way, it gives you something to work towards. I'm just gonna quickly go through all of them, there's just 8 more to go. As you can see, all of them is just weapon XP, or, or operators, or there is skins for operators, like I said, all that, and that is very very beautiful. With that being said, let's not prolong this any longer and let's get into a, the new map Crash. And there you have it everybody, here it is, Crash in, in all of its glory, it is back in Modern Warfare again. Now I'm not gonna lie, and there is the, the um, is that guy camping over there? Yep, there he is, let's go. But like I was saying, there is the famous helicopter that's crashed right there. And let's go, to be honest, I'm really, really excited to play this map. I hope you guys are as well. Alright, I am yet to see an enemy. I saw that one guy up there, and I got an assist, and that was it so far. But let's go, another assist, are you kidding me? Let's go, that's a first kill. That's what I'm talking about. If you guys have tried out this map already, tell me what you guys think about it. Is it good, is it not? Does it feel like the old Call of Duty crash, or is it changed? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now this is my first match so I can't exactly tell you all that. But soon enough I will. Let's go, another kill. I heard him coming. Well it looks like it's not gonna be the same experience as the old one. If I haven't told you guys already enough times already. Oh my, what? Why are you camping there? Are you kidding me man? It's a new map. Go out, play it. Why are you camping? Well, what I was about to say was I am very excited to be playing this map and it looks like I'm gonna have to change my mind. If this is all that's gonna happen, just people head glitching or camping. What is this? Look at this, what? All right, all right, let's chill, let's chill. Let's chill. We haven't played this map in a bit now. Obviously last time we played it was about three years ago when MWR came out. Enemy cruise missile. All right, let's go, got a kill. With that Semtex. Okay, alright, what was that aim? What is that aim? Alright, no one's actually camping, what? Now, if you guys remember in Modern Warfare Remastered, around this time, around Christmas time, they did do a... Okay, okay, chill. They did do a Christmas themed crash, where they put snow and lights up on crash and all that. I'm not gonna lie, that was quite nice actually. I hope they bring it back, but I hope they bring that back because it was actually quite fun. To play oh no not 
Yes, damn. I keep on doing that. I can't do anything here. I really cannot. Is it just camping or in buildings and stuff? What is going on here, man? But I hope they bring that back like I, like I said. I really do. It was fun to play in Modern Warfare Remastered. And I guess you can say it's kind of a new map. Even though it's not a new map, but it's a new map. Kind of. Not really. Okay, so I'm getting destroyed once again. I am using the PP19 Bison, just I thought I'd let you know, because it's actually a very good weapon, I'm really enjoying it so far. He's still there, that guy is still on this roof. What is up with this guy, man? And continue to talk about that battle pass. I like what, what Infinity Ward has done with that battle pass, to be honest. I think it's awesome. The And I'm talking about the things you can get from the battle pass, that is. Not the way they did it because it was the same way that Black Ops 4 did it, so nothing new there. But the things they put in the battle pass are actually quite nice. There is a variety, I think it is... I think this battle pass is actually worth buying, but at the same time it's like, why would you buy it if you can just unlock it for free, you know what I mean? So, I would say it is worth buying if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend buying it because you can just unlock it. For free that's my opinion on it but I'm a fan of what they've put in it there is um, a good variety of a lot of things and I am very happy about that let's hope they continue it like that I am on a bit of a streak here let's see how long I can continue that Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Camping. Giving them a bit of their own medicine. You wanna camp on me? I'll camp on you, baby. With the game almost coming to an end, I already talked about this, but I'll say it one more time. In case for any new subscriber or you guys or any of you guys that have not seen that video. I am very excited for the three maps that we got, but I'm at the same time disappointed just because they said new maps and these are not exactly new maps these are old maps that we had just remastered them in the new game so I'm not really happy about that but let's hope the next season or season 2 could bring us some really new maps not just remastered and there you have it, everybody that was a good victory I didn't start very good but I, I picked it up at the end went on a bit of a um, kill streak which was good Ended up going negative 12 and 15 for my first game on Crash, but that's okay. And like I said, I did go negative, but that's okay because it was my first game. I was trying to commentate, I wasn't focusing that much, but more good games will come your way, I promise you that. And with that being said, that was the Battle Pass. I showed you everything in the Battle Pass, and also I showcased a bit of um, the new map Crash. As you can see right there, there's Crash 24-7. Now, I'm not sure where Shipment and Vacant is. Because I really do want to try those out and show you guys as well how they play in this game. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to absolutely smash that like button. As it lets me know that you guys want more. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So you don't miss any of these videos. And this is definitely not the time to be missing these videos. And with that being said, I hope you have a good day. And I will see you in the next video.